Good evening and welcome to the Bet365 Stadium for West Ham United Under-18's FA Youth Cup third round tie with Stoke City. The Hammers have struggled in recent years of this famous competition but are hoping to emulate the class of 99 who won the Youth Cup with the likes of Joe Cole and Michael Carrick in their ranks. We'll start with the home side's lineup. Luis de Silva was an under-17 European Championship winner with Portugal in the summer along with the Hammers' very own Domingos Quina. Thibaut Valinden has had one appearance on the subs bench for Mark Hughes' first team and the Potters do have some goal scorers. Jordan Greenidge, Therese Campbell and Jacob Twyford have scored 12 goals between them this season. For the Hammers, Steve Potts makes five changes to the side that lost to Spurs on Saturday. Ben Johnson is back from suspension and replaces Jake Eggleton at right back. Vashon Neufeld comes in at left back. Alfie Lewis and Joe Powell return from injury and illness respectively and there's a start for 17-year-old Domingos Quina. Like Stokes de Silva, he was part of the Portugal under-17 side which won the European Championships in the summer and signed his first professional contact with the Hammers yesterday. It's Harvey Reid, started Stokes' last match, the two-all draw with Derby County at the weekend, plays a long ball forward towards Therese Campbell here. And he has the beaten of Akinola. Therese Campbell curls it. Brilliant save from Nathan Trott. Fingertip stop to tip it around the post. And early Stoke pressure here at the Bet365 Stadium. Therese Campbell, he has three and five this season. And he forced a brilliant save out of Nathan Trott. So either Domingos, Keener, right-footed or Dan Kemp, left-footed. It's going to be Kemp with the left foot. Swings it in. Rice jumps. The loose ball is with Akinola, but it's cleared away by Stoke. Connor Coventry volleys it. And it's just wide. Good opportunity for the Hammers there. There was a loose ball in the penalty area. Couldn't quite fall for Tunji Akinola. Alfie Lewis as well. Nice in the back by Edwards. But brilliant play by the Hammers number eight. And he gets the ball away to Quina. And this is what Quina likes to do. Bring the ball forward with space in front of him. And he finds Joe Powell. Powell tries to swing the ball through to Hector Ingram. Hector Ingram's in here. Hector Ingram scores! The Hammers draw first blood here at the Bet365 Stadium. And it's that man again, Jamal Hector Ingram. Brilliant start for the Hammers. Joe Powell with a fantastic ball through with his left foot. Found Hector Ingram and we see Hector Ingram in that position so many times for the under-18s. At the moment, he was never going to miss. And he slotted the ball past Mate Detsky in the Stoke goal. And the Hammers draw first blood here. It's 1-0. Nerfield into Kemp, pops it around the corner to Keener. West Ham on the attack here. Keener's got plenty of space in this left hand side. He's got Hector Ingram in the area. Instead, he finds Kemp, and that's a great chance for West Ham. Dan Kemp got underneath his strike. Give and go between Edwards and here's Edwards, and he scores. Stoke City equalise. It was a forward run by Thomas Edwards. He played the 1 2 with Tyrese Campbell. And Edwards lashes the ball home. And Stoke have responded at the start of the second half. Today is a big game. Akinola's put under pressure here from Greenidge. And Stoke have a second. It's Tyrese Campbell and Stoke City have turned this game on its head. A long ball not dealt with by the back four. And Tyrese Campbell has given Stoke City the lead, a remarkable turnaround here at the Bet365 Stadium. Keener turns Sorensen brilliantly, here's Domingos Keener, he finds Dan Kemp in some space on the right, here's Dan Kemp, whips it in, Hector Ingram's there! There's the equaliser, Jamal Hector Ingram heads in Dan Kemp's cross, and the hammers are level. It was a lovely move, Keener spread the ball wide to Dan Kemp, his cross was on a plate, for that man again, Jamal Hector Ingram heads the ball past the Stoke City goalkeeper. And West Ham have equalised and it's game on here at the Bet365 Stadium. Wide to Thomas Edwards for Stoke City. Edwards sprays the ball to the Linden on this left-hand side. He tries to cut inside Johnson and, and he does. Now he tries to attack Connor Coventry. He turns, Connor Coventry tries his best. Oh, that's a wonderful save from Nathan Trott. What a strike from the Linden. That's a fantastic stop from Nathan Trott. Tips the ball onto the crossbar. Here's Rice. And there we have it. 
We're going to have extra time here at the Bet365 Stadium. And Woody weaves his way through here. Sorensen flicks it through to Greenidge. Greenidge turns Declan Rice. What an opportunity. That is an unbelievable chance for Jordan Greenidge. Johnson running into that space. He crosses. He's headed away. Almost fell to Anthony Scully on the edge of the box. The clearance falls to Domingos Keener though. Keener, brilliant. Oh, it's a great save from the Stoke City goalkeeper. That's West Ham's best chance of extra time. And that's it. The referee blows his whistle. 120 minutes. Brilliant entertainment this evening. It's finished 2 all between Stoke City and West Ham at the Bet365 Stadium. And we're going to have a penalty shootout to decide who makes it through to round four. So Thomas Edwards of Stoke up first. He scored their equaliser. Can he score from the spot? That's a brilliant penalty. Top corner. No chance for Nathan Trott. Anthony Scully now for West Ham. Can he level things up? That's a lovely penalty. Anthony Scully sends the keeper the wrong way, straight down the middle. So the Stoke City substitute, Christopher Zareto, with Stoke's second penis, one all. Can he score and put Stoke ahead? He does, sends Trot the wrong way. Connor Coventry, now 2-1 in the shootout. Can he put West Ham back on level terms? Saved by Matej Dejski. And Stoke have the early advantage. So Jake Dunwoody now, the midfielder for Stoke. Can he make it 3-1? He can, sends Trot the wrong way and West Ham have a mountain to climb in this penalty shootout. So Corey Henry for West Ham now. He scored a few penalties this season for the under 18s. Can he add another? Of course he can, no doubt. And he keeps West Ham in it. Luis De Silva, he won the under-17 European Championships with Portugal in the summer. He steps up now. Can he add to Stoke's advantage? De Silva. Oh, almost saved by Nathan Trott. He guessed the right way but couldn't keep it out. So Dan Kemp scored one for the under-23s against Northampton a few weeks ago. And a save, and Stoke City have beaten West Ham on penalties, and West Ham are out of the FA Youth Cup in the third round. Heartbreak for the Hammers.